Today, we are going to continue the series on how to make a design video intro. In the first three episodes, we have shown you the idea of how to create this intro in detail, how to make a push and pull transition, and insert small labels in your video, and also how to use different split screen designs to enrich your video intro. And if you haven't watched that yet, check out the link in the top right corner to watch it. In the last video, we are going to dive into how to make text animation. So if you are interested in this one, keep watching. Open VidiPro Vlogger. Find a project we saved last time. Double click it to open. Let's begin with editing a text flicker like this one. Find text icon in the toolbar. Click on it. Add the text content in the inspector on the upper right corner here. Select the font and font size. Click on this little box again. Change the font color to green based on the color scheme we have talked about. Scroll down and find the text border area. Change your color. Adjust the border size. Then scroll down to the text shadow section. Since here we don't need any text shadow, we pull the offset value to zero. Then move the text to a proper position in the preview window. That's it for this edit. Next. We click on this plus icon in the far left of the subtitle track to add a new subtitle track. And then use a Ctrl C shortcut to copy the text we have just added. Right click on the subtitle track 1, select paste. Then change the color of the copied text to white. Adjust the duration of the text. Copy another text and place it a little bit behind here. Let's see the result. Not bad. On top of that, if you want a more advanced text flashing animation like this one, you find this icon, click on it, and select the new subtitle track several times. Then, copy the text you just created with a green color. Paste it several times in the different subtitle tracks. Use the show or high layer rectangle to adjust their positions in turn. Then copy the text in white again. Paste them to the full text with green. and adjust their positions in turn to ensure that the green text is covered. Preview it, and you have this result. Of course, you can also drag the duration of the text filled with white to give them a more staggered deflation. And then you will end up with this dynamic flashing text animation. This bouncing text animation is very easy to edit. We click on the text icon first. Add the text in the inspector. Then adjust the attributes. And also the position in the preview window. Next, copy the text. Paste it three times on different subtitle tracks and drag them in sequence with mouse to ensure they appear in sequence in time. Finally, in the preview window, adjust the position of this text in turn so that they could form a bouncing effect. And you are done!
If you want to get your edits done more quickly, you can try this effect. First of all, still, click on the text icon to input the text content. You can go with some unique design in color, font, and text layout. This way, you can get three completely different texts. Then, we use different ways to lead in these three texts. For example, first, select this text. Find the animation in the inspector. In Appear, pull down the menu, and you can find a bunch of presets to work with. I choose the white left first. Drag the slider to adjust the time. Next, select the text again. Add a squeeze effect for it. And for the last text, I will select the wipe up. That's done. Pretty easy, right? Well, you have finished the whole series on how to create a design video intro. How do you think of it? So feel free to tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.